So hi people of the earth, I know I've been MIA and as you can see I've been very busy. I've converted the place into an experimental site for my thesis and I've been very stressed and really tired for this past month. Well not stressed, just tired. Anyway, it's not about that. So this video is another hydroponics video that I finally found the time to edit. On my other video, I showed you the most simple hydroponic method out there. So I don't know how, but I'll link it somewhere here. So, but this time, if you want to level up a bit, this is the video for you. So what I'm going to share with you today is how I set up my hydroponic drip system. Basically, in drip system, you're going to use a submersible pump that's going to distribute the nutrient solution to your plants through this drip lines or this narrow hose that are connected to the pump. It may sound big for you, especially if it's your first time to hear this, but it will make sense if you watch the videos. It's better if you can see how it works. So I hope you continue watching. So just a disclaimer, this video will only be about the setup. It's not a production guide and this will only include preparing your plant container. In this case, I'll be using a bucket and how you're going to construct the drip lines and how the system works. Okay, enough mumbling, let's just get started. Bye. So in this setup, we will be needing 8 buckets or anything similar. In my case, I use trash bins. A 50 liter container that will serve as a reservoir for your nutrient solution. A 10 feet long 2 inch diameter PVC pipe. Another pipe with a half inch diameter. 16 pieces of half inch 90 degree elbow pipes. A 2 inch 90 degree elbow. A 2 inch end cap. 8 pieces of rubber grommet. 4 millimeter barb connectors. A hole puncher. A small piece of sealant tape. Your typical garden hose. 5 meters of this drip tubing, 4 millimeters in diameter. Zip ties. Rubber bands and a piece of fine mesh net. Your submersible pump. And lastly, your net pots, and make sure they can sit right on top of your buckets. Also, we're gonna need some tools. A drill, a 2-inch and 1-inch hole saw for your drill, a hacksaw, scissors, and lastly, sandpaper. Let's start with preparing our plant container. First is to drill a hole 2.5 inches from the bottom. Now get your PVC grommet and sealant tape. Cut a little strip of that sealant and insert it on the sides of the grommet. Make sure that the tape tightly fits the grommet because this will prevent leaking. So once you have wrapped the sealant around the grommet, you can now insert it in your bucket. Now for that half inch pipe, using a hacksaw, divide it into 8 pieces 6 inch, 8 pieces 4 inch, and 8 pieces 2 inch segments. In this next step, you will need your 6 inch, 2 inch, and elbow pipes. And then we insert the 6 inch. So there, this is what it looks like from inside out. Now get your elbow pipes and connect it on this side and another on the inside. And lastly, attach the 2 inch on the exterior end. Now you just have to repeat that for all of your buckets. Now let's go to the big pipe or the return line. Get your 1 inch hole saw and drill holes that are 1 foot apart on your 2 inch diameter pipe. So there should be one hole for each of your buckets. So I have 8, so I made 8 holes and at the end I just left a less than a foot. So this is what it should look like. So now for the other end of the pipe, what I did was I cut a little piece of this main pipe and connected it using a 2 inch 90 degree elbow and then i used a two inch hole saw to make a hole on this container and then one inch hole saw to make another hole on this side of the container this hole is actually for where the garden hose will pass through so there so what you're going to do is you get your garden hose and then connect that to the pump that should be placed inside the container and then you secure the hose with cable ties and you lay it along with the big pipe and then at the end, just fold what is not needed and put your end cap. Now from this 4mm tubing, I cut 8 pieces of it of at least 2 feet in length. And then at one end, I attached one piece of a barb connector. 
And so after that, I arranged the buckets in alternating position just because I think the plants would have better airflow. And remember that 4 inch segment? It's time that we incorporate them. What I did is, I just pressed it down near the base of the stem. Using your hole puncher, you need to punch a hole on this hose. Um, as you can see, this guideline here, you need to punch a hole somewhere near this line and near the brim of the bucket. Then get your drip tubing and insert it. Okay, so once it's in, make sure it's tightly secured. And then for the other end, it goes inside this pipe which we inserted earlier. Alright, so we're pretty much done. That's as much as I can show you and this is how the whole setup looks like. Now for the next clip, I will be showing you how the system works. Okay, so this is where you put your nutrient solution and then the pump will distribute that through this green main line and then to this narrow lines connected directly to your plant roots. Now the plant will get saturated and the excess solution will move through here and then to this big return line back to your reservoir. Just a little pointer, your platform should be slightly sloping so that your returning solution will gravitate back to your reservoir. Isaac. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. You don't have to do it the same way as I did. And I hope you liked it. So like, comment, and subscribe. Love and light to everybody.